Okay, team, it's really time to decide how much technology you want to put in our classrooms. It's been a tough debate, and while some of you want to increase this student's access to technology, others want to keep everything the same. So, since we all know what it's like to teach without much help from computers, I've asked our Ms. Blue to put together a presentation. Ms. Blue? Thank you. I'd like for you all to imagine the board in your classroom. Everyone see it? Now picture your computer screen. Put the screen of your computer on the board. That is the power of technology. You can project documents that you have made previously right on... Now wait a minute, Fosse. You and I both know that's what projectors are for. Now, Mr. Highstops, if you had not interrupted me, you would already know that smart boards also allow you to manipulate right on and save said changes right on the board. Ooh. Sorry, Miss B. It's quite all right. Ms. Lightswitch, you know more than anyone about the destruction of natural habitats for timber, don't you? Um, yes. But what does that have to do with teaching? Well, what do we all use to send out newsletters and assignments with kids every week? Uh, paper? That's right. By using a class website or blog, every student can be up to date on their homework, and parents can be up to date on what is going inside the classroom without the use of all this p extra paper. Now that's all fine and dandy, but why am I even here, Principal Rescue? My gymnasium does definitely not need any of this fancy schmancy stuff. Miss Pueblo, there are tons of resources to be found for any subject matter. One that comes right off the top of my head is a heart rate monitor. Isn't that a useful tool when teaching about personal health? Then you can even show them graphs of their own heart rates and make a lot of real-world connections for them. You know, that all sounds great, but I still have two problems. Won't it take a lot of valuable time out of class to teach them how to use these computers? And how do we keep them focused once they do know? I understand your concerns, but I believe in your skills as a teacher to keep them on task. Ask them questions and be interested in how they're each do. Wow, Mrs. Blue, I'm convinced. That looks like a great model. I had my doubts, but they have surely since evanesced. Yeah! Let's